I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash dofa noirs. <laughs> I am going to show you how to make. <laughs> I've got the giggles. Keep no. I'm going to show you how to make a butternut dofa noirs. You're going to need a couple of butternut squash, 100 millilitres of milk, ideally whole milk, but I've only got skimmed, 300 millilitres of double cream, 100 grams of red Leicester, one or two garlic cloves, two bay leaves, a pinch of nutmeg, salt, pepper, and some thyme. First of all, prepare your butternut squash. Chop the end off so you've got a flat surface and then cut down towards your chopping board. If you've got a really good peeler, you might be able to peel your butternut squash. And then slice your butternut squash into circles about five millimeters thickness. Mm -hmm. When you get to the seeds, just remove those first and then carry on slicing. Grease your dish with some butter and then start to layer your butternut squash into the dish. Now the more untidy pieces, like this, place at the bottom and keep your neat ones for nearer the top. In between each layer, put a little bit of seasoning, so some salt, some pepper, and a little sprinkling of thyme. And repeat the process until the bowl is full. There's our butternut all layered up ready for the sauce. Into your saucepan add your 300 millilitres of double cream and your 100 millilitres of milk. Crush your garlic clove into the sauce. Add a pinch of nutmeg. A pinch of thyme, some salt and pepper, and your two bay leaves. Mm -hmm. And then bring them to the boil. Okay. When it's boiling, turn it off and leave it to infuse for 10 minutes and cool down. Then pour the liquid over your butternut squash mixture and cover with foil to go into the oven. Leave your base leaves on top, you can take those out later. Mm -hmm. Cover with foil and cook in the oven. Gas mark 480 degrees for half an hour with a foil on. Half an hour, take it out of the oven, remove your two bay leaves, press it down a little bit under the liquid. And then top with lots of red Leicester cheese and put it back in the oven for another about 15 minutes until it's golden and delicious. Oven and leave for 10 minutes before serving. 